Hey guys, for today's video, we are going to be comparing the Dyson Airwrap to the Shark Flex Style. The Shark Flex Style, it just came out and it's basically kind of a copycat of the Dyson. Just saying. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I do have the Dyson Airwrap. I bought this last year for <laughs> $600. I originally bought the Persian blue one that had the short barrels, but that did not work like whatsoever on my hair. Um, so I exchanged it and I got the long skinny barrels like this. Dyson did just come out with new technology where you actually don't have to swap out your barrels when you want to rotate the direction of the curl. So right now, you know, you have to switch between, oh, between left and right. Um, but they came out with a new air wrap where you just press a button and you have one curler. I don't have that one. Honestly, it should have been made that way to begin with, in my opinion. And I'm surprised Shark didn't do that. So that was a little surprising to me. So from experience, I know that you need some type of product to hold these curls. I find that every hair type is different. I have very fine hair. I recently got layers. So I'm interested to see if it maybe works a little bit better. Maybe my hair was too heavy before. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just using some Aveda Styling Mousse. So now I'm gonna show you the attachments for both. So here's what they both look like without any attachments. First one is the wrap. So the Shark only comes with one size of these barrels and the Dyson comes with two, so here's the second. It's just a little skinnier. Now here's the brush attachment. Shark just has one attachment for the brush, Dyson has two. So the Shark has soft bristles and the Dyson has like hard plasticky bristles and honestly I prefer the Dyson. And then you can see the round brush on the Dyson is a lot smaller actually, like the Dyson one better. And here's the blow dryer attachment. These are both the same for me. I do like this feature of Shark. It can be straight or you can fold it down like this and make it smaller. So I was interested to see how much the base weighs for each. So first up is the Dyson and it ends up weighing about 14.4 ounces or 14.2 ounces. And then the shark weighs one pound, nine ounces. So the shark is a little bit heavier. So I'm gonna first just go ahead and dry my hair and I'm gonna start out using the Dyson. So Dyson is gonna be on my left. This is my left, right? Yeah, my left. <laughs> so from experience, I know that you need some type of product to hold these curls. So I'm just using some Aveda styling mousse. It looks like this and you can use whatever styling cream or mousse you like. So now I'm just gonna put this side up. So I'm gonna use the blow dryer attachment on my Dyson first. I do really like this attachment, it's really good. This is probably my favorite attachment of the Dyson, not gonna lie. I find that it does blow dry your hair pretty quick, especially if you do it in sections, so I really like this. So now I'm going to use my Shark. I'm gonna use the Style Diffuser. Go ahead and hit this little button down here to pull this down. The attachment locks on beautifully, super easy. I really like the Shark too. It honestly blow dried just as fast. I mean, they both feel the exact same. All right, so make sure you have the right attachment on. So when I use my air wrap, I let my hair attach to the bottom and then I just kind of roll it up and down my hair shaft to get it nice and dry. And as you're going up and down, you should be able to feel a little bit of tension, um, which is what you want. Then I just kind of roll it close to my head and then I wait for 10 to 15 seconds and I do the cool shot for another 10 seconds and then I take it off. Okay, hit it with the cool shot. Just gonna let it rest for a second and then release. Pretty. So then I just do this all the way around my head. Um, I use the barrel that is closest to the size of the shark. I actually prefer the skinnier Dyson barrel. So the one that I showed earlier in my comparison, it's a little bit skinnier than this one and it honestly works a lot better. If you are interested in Dyson, then I would highly recommend long barrels if you have my length of hair or longer. Okay, so here is my Dyson air wrap side. I feel like the curls look pretty good. Obviously, I'm gonna let them cool and then brush my fingers through them because you don't wear them like this. That's not how it's meant to be. Um, you're supposed to always brush your fingers through it. It's not supposed to be a tight curl. It's supposed to be a loose kind of blowouty look. 
Um, if you're expecting tight curls, the Dyson ain't it, the Flex Styler ain't it. Stick with a curling iron. So let's go ahead and try our shark side. So I like how the shark, it says like left and right at the top. So there is no confusing it. You got your left, you got your right. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the right. Do the same settings, high heat, high fan. Hit it with a cool shot when we're done. So I did my curls the same exact way as the Dyson. It felt the exact same. My hair attached the exact same. It honestly feels the exact same. It feels like I'm using a Dyson, so it's kind of crazy. Um, I do want to say maybe the Shark is like a little bit warmer, a little hotter than the Dyson. When I had it up against my head, I could really feel the difference. Both the Shark and the Dyson are supposed to have technology so that it doesn't damage your hair. So it's surprising to me that they can get this hot without damaging your hair. I don't know how that works. I'm not even going to look into it. <laughs> All right, release. Pretty, looks the exact same. <laughs> On to the next one. So Dyson, it does come with a little bit more attachments. Um, you have that extra brush, you have that extra barrel size, um, and you also get a carrying case, which it, it is a nice carrying case. I will give Dyson that. It's very luxurious, very chic looking. I like all the different colors that the Dyson can come in. Shark, it's just, you know, that silver color, which is kind of boring. Also, you only have one barrel size with the Shark. I'm sure they'll come out with more in the future, but for now it's just one barrel size. Now Dyson has more advanced technology than Shark because they recently came out with a new air wrap and you don't have to switch out the two barrels if you want to curl one way versus the other. Like if you want to curl inwards versus outwards, you just flip a switch instead of having two different barrels, which Shark does not have that technology yet. I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> so far, Here's what our two sections look like. Obviously this has been cooling a little bit longer than this side, so it's not as tight as this side. So I'm gonna give this side like five minutes, but I mean, they look the exact same. Okay, now we are gonna do our bangs. So I'm just gonna pop this guy off and then attach the Dyson round brush. So I ended up just using the air wrap. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought all of this was my bangs. It's not, I have like, the tiniest amount of bangs and this is not it <laughs> um, but I just went ahead and kept this clip in so you could see me using the blowout brush I do like Dyson's blowout brush it is smaller it's a lot smaller it takes longer but it does give you more definition and volume I think um, than the shark the shark is really big so if you have really like fine hair or thin hair I don't think you would like that big of a brush it reminds me of the uh, oh gosh, what's it called? The Revlon brush. And I do like the Revlon brush, but it is big. Also, why is the base so big, so long for Dyson and Shark? Like, they, it doesn't need to be that long. Look at my face. I'm like, what did I just do? Okay, so really just like these two sections are my bangs. So I'm going to go ahead and air wrap these longer sections. Okay, so I just went ahead and air wrapped my bangs. This is what it looks like. Um, Dyson, Shark. Dyson side, shark side. We're gonna brush our fingers through and that will be the moment of truth. <laughs> now let me just preface this by saying this technology, it does not work the best on my hair type. It just doesn't. I've tried everything. Literally, don't leave me comments saying try this because I've, I've tried it. Um, it's just my hair, it's me. <laughs> but you can see the Dyson side, it like immediately fell out. And I'm gonna talk about this in a minute. Disappointing, <laughs> but um, the shark side, it, it looks better. I, of course, it still fell a lot, but it looks way better than the Dyson side. This is what the Dyson does to me, you guys. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Um, I mean, the shark side, it's, it's not horrible. Um, all that work, I would expect something a little more. And before anyone says, well, you didn't let this side cool as much as this one. Yes, I did. I did. This is, this is just what happens with the Dyson on me every single time. It just does not like my hair. I don't know if it just doesn't get as hot as the shark does, but I mean, we saw as soon as I ran my fingers through it, disappeared, gone. And this side, obviously it's way better. The shark side wins 100%. $600, absolutely not. $269. Yeah, we, we can do that for sure. I love that they both come with a lot of attachments. Um, 
I don't know guys, the results speak for themselves. The shark is basically the same thing as a Dyson. If I could go back in time and never get the Dyson, I would never get the Dyson because it's just this, this, this. I did the exact same thing on each side and the shark, it's holding up, so. And there are people that are like hardcore Dyson fans and I don't know, I'm just not a Dyson fan. I think they're overpriced. Anyways, I'm gonna link the shark below. I'll link Dyson too if you're interested in it. I don't know why you would be, but if you are, I'll link it. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.